Hello everyone, welcome to our new session and today we are going to do short story. As apparent from its name, short story is a small narrative of a story which involves a number of characters and a number of incidents. Before further understanding what is a short story, let's start with the story itself. So once there was a king who was very renowned, mighty, powerful and a fierce warrior. He was so brave that even the enemies feared from his name. He was also considered very wise and he was the only king who kept an open court. In this open court, anybody can come to the court and talk to the king directly without any fear. One day in the open court, there came a beggar and he said that he has a complaint and it is against the king himself, to which everybody was outraged. But the king smiled and said, don't be scared, speak up. The beggar said that everybody says that you are very powerful and mighty, but I believe that you are a cruel king. The king asked, why so? And the beggar said that if I was a king, I would never be so bloodthirsty. To which the king smiled and replied that if I was a beggar, I would not aspire to be a king. So this was our story and now let's see that how we make a story and how to make it interesting. So first of all, every story has three main parts. So first is the structure of a story which always includes a beginning, then the middle part and the conclusion. In the beginning, we set the time of the story and in that we are going to tell a small incident. While coming to the body of the story, it includes the elements which, interest, which increases the interest of the reader. And in the conclusion, we are going to end the story in a very dramatic way and also there will be a conclusion if there is any. So let's see what are the different points which we can use and make our story very interesting. And the first is that plan your story and the incidents prior to the writing. Then always add a suitable title. Start your story in a very dramatic and very charismatic way. Just think that your story should start in such a way that the reader is getting the interest to reach to its end that what the story is going to tell you. In the beginning, set the time of the story like once upon a time or once there was a king like this. Then add adjectives, adverbs and always use some dialogues if you want to make your story very interesting. Coming to the end, always end your story in again a dramatic way and it should comprise a conclusion if there is any which is taught by the story. Now, using these tips and tricks, let's make one more story with which you can get an idea that how you can narrate your story in a very interesting way. Once in a certain town, a very stingy farmer had a very weak and old donkey. Here you can see that we have set the time and the atmosphere of the story. One day, the animal accidentally fell into a dried up well. It cried piteously for hours as the farmer tried to figure out what to do. Well, it's an old donkey, totally worthless. I don't need him. Let him lie where he is. Moreover, I need to fill this well too. I will throw dirt into it and the donkey will be buried under it, he thought to himself. Here you can see that we have used the dialogues. Then, so he invited all his neighbors to come over and help him. They all grabbed a shovel and began to shovel dirt into the well. At first, the hapless donkey could not realize what was happening and cried horribly. Then, to everyone's amazement, he quieted down. Here you can see that we have used many phrases like at first, then, wait, let me check why the donkey is no longer making a noise. Again a dialogue. The farmer told his neighbors, they stopped throwing the dirt into the well. When the farmer 
looked down the well. He was astonished of what he saw. With each shovel of dirt that hit his back, the donkey was doing something amazing. He would shake it off and take a step up. He had managed to stay above the pile of the dirt. Quite annoyed at this, the farmer urged his neighbors to speed up the work of filling up the well, hoping that the donkey would be eventually buried alive. But that did not happen. As soon as the well was filled right up to the brim, the donkey stepped up over the edge of the well and happily trotted off. Model, when troubles come your way, instead of crying, find a way out of them. So this was a short story and I believe that you understood it completely. And now you can narrate your stories in a very interesting way. See you very soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.